This is not okay. I am in desperate need of a full glow up. I think I mentioned in my last video, I felt so anxious recently. I've not felt like myself. So I've kind of done a little bit of a mental glow up this week, but now it's time for the physical glow up because I cannot with this hair anymore. Like my hairs look like this for way too long. So I'm gonna glow up for my friend's birthday and it's tonight, but I'm hoping by today, I've gone from a zero to a 100. You know when you actually just feel gross? Like even if you put on your favorite outfit or even if you did beat makeup, you still just don't feel 10 out of 10. That's how I feel at the minute. I've not felt like that for a while. So I'm excited. Today's new hair day. And when today's new hair day, I feel like this song plays. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know why I'm procrastinating. Um, by the way, do you like my new robe? I've been in a very pink mood this week. I don't know why. I've literally decorated my whole bathroom and dedicated it to pink. I hope you like my little shelf. But yeah, I bought this from Marks and Spencers. Best purchase of the year. Anyway, I'm gonna do my fake tanning routine. I do actually usually use the sun beds not great for you, but I'm just too lazy at the minute. So I'm just gonna do a little layer of tan because I am looking so pale at the minute. And whenever I look pale or I feel like I feel pasty, I feel gross. I'm gonna do my normal tanning routine. And what I love about this one is it develops in four hours. So you don't need to leave it on overnight or for like eight hours. It develops really quickly and it goes such a nice golden color. This tan doesn't go tiger bready either. There's nothing worse. I would rather be pale than have like the tiger bread skin. That literally goes through me. I li no. I was gonna attempt to apply this on camera, but I really don't wanna get this new robe dirty. So I'm gonna put a layer of fake tan on and I'll be right back. The sponsor for today's video is one of my faves. It's with HelloFresh. And I'm just about to make this veggie moussaka for my lunch. And because I chose the box for two people, so you can choose how many people you want it for. I'm actually gonna meal prep with this as well. And this looks so delicious. I actually had a moussaka recently at a Greek restaurant and I was obsessed with it. So when I saw that they had it on the recipes, this went straight in my basket. And I also like that it's veggie because I have been eating more veggie meals recently, but there's so many veggie options on there and there's lots of meat and fish options as well. Literally so many recipes on HelloFresh. You'll definitely find something on there that you'll love. And there's things that have got me out of my comfort zone. Like I've made risotto, I've made Malaysian noodle soup. I've been making all sorts of things that I wouldn't probably make on my own. So if you've never heard of HelloFresh, it's basically a food subscription. So you choose how many people you want it for or how many people are in your household and then you choose your recipes and like I said there's literally so many to choose from and then all of the food for the recipes gets delivered straight to your door and everything is always so fresh you also get all of the recipe cards as well which has the cooking instructions on the back and also the nutritional information and then all of the ingredients needed for it and they're literally the easiest things to make ever knowing I've got the ingredients and the recipe cards is so much easier and I'm saving so much money because I'm not ordering which I do order a lot and I do still enjoy the occasional takeout but during the week I really like to make these HelloFresh meals. Highly recommend trying HelloFresh out especially this time of year when we're all trying to get into some new routines and good new habits and we're trying to be a little bit healthier and of course I have a discount code for you guys so if you use my code 60madison20 you'll get 60% off your first box and then 20% off for the next two months and you'll also get some free gifts in there as well. Literally gone from looking like Casper to looking like the Grinch so I feel like I've taken like two steps back but by the time I've washed it off it'll be fine so I've just applied my fake tan I'm gonna have to put like a high neck on because the difference between <laughs> no I'm going out like this I'm committing to the cause at this point I've got to do it I just need to find something that's going to cover me from neck to toe you know your hairdresser is incredible when you drive I want to say like 45 minutes to your hairdressers. That's commitment. I'm on my way there. I'm very excited now. I feel like I've needed my hair done for so long. I can't remember the last time I had it done actually. Got my new hair also because we're going to go a bit longer today. So I'll tell you what I'm having done when I get there. Guys, one day is playing in the hairdressers. Has anyone watched this? Because I watched this. I binged it on Valentine's Day and I cried like a baby. So the fact that I have to do it all over again. <laughs> I mean, I highly recommend it. It was really good, but very sad. So if you're in any sort of very emotional state, maybe don't watch it. go 
joining, guys. Serene. She's Tim. gonna be long. Oh my gosh, I love it. Just got home and I'm gonna have to share my little win for the day with you all. When I got in my Uber, I wanted to time my delivery so it got to my apartment when I get to my apartment. And I literally got out of my Uber and my delivery driver just pulled up. That collision, new hair day is just the best day. I feel like everything just goes very well. If your hair goes well, that is. Which I'm literally so obsessed with how it looks. I did have quite a lot cut off because these were 24 inch. But I just felt like that was a little bit much. I reckon I'm probably going to last like two weeks with these in. But it's two weeks of me having nice hair. And that's what I feel like my soul needs right now. I've got some food. I was so hungry. Even though I had that soup there, I'm starving now. It's half five and I'm going out at half seven for dinner. I know this is so risky, but I need to line the stomach. It's got to be done. But I am having something light. It's a chicken and papaya salad. And then it comes with this like spicy sauce. Just pour that all over it. And it's just got loads of veggies in there. And I feel like... That's what I needed today. So I've got two hours to basically shower, do a bit of skincare, maybe put a face mask on for a little bit. At least my hair's done. My hair probably takes me the longest um, and then I can't wait to do my makeup. This is the best salad ever. Mm, I was so hungry. I'm gonna be real with you though. I need to sit in silence for a little bit. You know, when you're in the hairdressers and there's a lot of talking going on. I love that, but now I need to be silent. So I'm gonna put my camera on charge and then we can finish the glow up. It's gonna get messy. Touching a million Gucci, doing well, I feel like we've definitely made progress since this morning. My hair, I'm literally obsessed with it. I even had to dig out this crusty actually it's not crusty it was quite new but i had to dig out a shower cap i didn't even know i owned this shower cap but there was no way that i was ruining this hair so i literally searched my entire apartment and found this under the bed but i've just done my shower routine and then i've also used these two products when i got out the shower and i feel like these really maintain your tan usually i'll just use this and it's literally so inexpensive from boots it's the palmer's cocoa butter this just keeps your tan looking really fresh and i feel like it makes it last so much longer and people lotion your bodies i've also just paired it with this bum bum body oil and this just gives your skin a really nice glow and it smells incredible so i'm gonna go and do my makeup i feel like i need a little pre-drink i've not pre-drank in a while but i don't even know what i've got in to be honest i found found a cheap bottle of Prosecco. I feel like this is going to do, to be fair. Do you know what? I actually enjoy pre-drinking with Prosecco because I feel like because it's so bubbly, it just like bubbles right to your head and just gives you the little... I love how throughout January, I literally didn't drink and now suddenly I'm drinking in all my vlogs. Doing this scares me. Do I need... My hands are really oily from the body oil I've just used. Oh my gosh, is that even gonna, oh, she's coming. Ooh, cheers guys to, what are we cheersing to? To the glow up, that's what we're cheersing to. I love being in this mood when I'm actually excited to do my makeup because I'm either one way or the other. I'm either really excited to do my makeup and enjoy the process or I literally can't be asked and we'll just throw it on my face. I had to take the robe off though because I don't know whether it was the Prosecco or the robe but I was getting a little flushed. I've also brought my speaker over because I'm not going to do like a full makeup tutorial. I'm just going to get ready and probably listen to music, maybe talk through a little bit of it. I'm not sure yet. So there's no need for how bright them lights are. I'm literally being blinded. But look how gorgeous this tan looks. It looks so natural as well. Like it's not orangey. It's just like a really nice golden bronze color. This combo is actually great. There really is just something about when you're going out and you have the entire day to get ready. I feel like it just makes the whole experience so much better. Although I will keep on saying this. I think sometimes it is actually better than the night out. I know that's not going to be the case tonight because I'm going to see my best friends. And you know when you know it's just going to be a good night? Like, I just have the feeling of this is going to be a good night. Also, I've been religiously using this since my last vlog. It's the e.l.f. Power Grip. 
primer. I heard the TikTok girlies talking about this and it's actually really good. But I press it on rather than rub it on and it really just sticks to anything that you put over the top of it. And I kind of need the stick, I'm not going to lie, because I'm a face toucher. My makeup never stays on. When me and Hannah used to go out clubbing when we was younger, we'd be in bed at the end of the night and her makeup would literally look like she'd just applied it. And mine would be non-existent. Like, I don't know what happens. But I'm not the bitch that can keep her makeup on, unfortunately unless it's with a really good primer. So I highly recommend this to the people like me where the makeup just doesn't stay on. Like, where does it go? And I'm always using my Iconic Radiance Booster. This underneath anything, foundation, skin tint, even on its own. It's time to listen to some music. Another thing that I've really been enjoying doing to keep my makeup I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder. I go in with this first just under my eyes. I only do this when I'm going out though because I feel like for every day it's probably a bit excessive. Whenever I'm filming makeup, like whenever I film a makeup TikTok or a makeup tutorial, I don't know why I feel the need to rush. Like I need to just relax, I need to slow down. Um, and then I go in using the Huda Beauty powder in Peach Pie. This has become my new favorite translucent powder. I never thought I would steer away from the Laura Mercier one, but this one is so fire, it's so good. So then I'll just go over that. And then with what's left on my sponge, I'll just go over the rest of my face. Another thing that I haven't actually thought about is my outfit. So in my head while I'm doing my makeup, I'm trying to think of outfit ideas, which I do usually sometimes like sit and brainstorm outfit ideas. Sometimes I do use my notes app for that and I'll just go on the notes app one day and it'll be wide leg jeans with bodysuit and glasses and it'll just be like a random note so i think i mentioned at the beginning of the video that i had more of like a mental glow up and it's literally because the week that i launched my boohoo edit i loved that week so much like honestly if you've not seen the vlog i would suggest you go watch it like it was it was a really fun week i was so anxious and i kept saying to my mom i literally can't shake this feeling like i feel like i can't be fully fully present in what we're doing and it's so frustrating so when we got back from that trip i made sure that i really did some self-care like i took some time off social media and i basically just slowed down for the week because i just felt so not myself last week and i just needed a little detox but i'm feeling so much better and honestly i feel so much better after today but that's like in my becoming her video i feel like sometimes the physical glow up is just as important as the mental one. I think when you feel good in yourself and like you know you look good, the confidence you radiate is just next level. Like I know I'm gonna have such a good night tonight because I know I look good. Not that I know I look good, but like I feel really good in myself. Do you know what I, oh, let me actually say I look good. Bitch, you look good. I saw you walking past baby. We can do like anything you want. But I'm about to have you down worse. My current debate is do I wear lashes or not? We're gonna lash, we've decided. I've just found out that the table was at quarter past seven and not half past seven. That's really good. I basically need to be setting off now. Um, really quickly, lip combo of the night is Morphe Sweet Tea or Cork by MAC. Always, they never let me down. I'm gonna do this Paco Rabanne one. I forgot how much I love this. This is in the shade. Where is the shade on this? The tea, and that is the tea. This is gonna be a real quick get ready with me. What the hell am I gonna wear, guys? I got this dress from White Fox, but it's literally raining outside and it's a mini dress. But I'm thinking if I put it on with boots, maybe. I don't even wanna wear a dress though. Or I have this one from Zara, which I feel could be more the vibe. But now I'm thinking, do I wear something like this? It's like a two piece. But I didn't really want to wear jeans tonight because I wore jeans last night and everyone's going quite smart. Like the birthday girl is wearing a blazer. This isn't my favourite outfit I've ever worn, but I feel like for a five minute job, it's not too bad. So this is what I'm wearing. This skirt is from A Vintage Fit. My bodysuit is Skims. The jacket is La Merge. Bag Mew Mew. And hair sway. I feel like a bad bitch again. Let me not forget my perfume. I'm gonna wear my Delina. And guys, I got to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the little glow up today. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one.